The new details tonight about the Scott Peterson murder trial back in the spotlight after the well-regarded Los Angeles Innocence Project took on the 20-year-old case. Peterson is serving life without the possibility of parole for the death of his wife, Lacey, and their unborn son, Connor. Well, now the LA Innocence Project wants to re-examine evidence from that trial, including a burned-out van. Here's a look. With a blood-stained mattress found one mile from the Peterson's home the day after Lacey was reported missing. The person who investigated that van is speaking out in an exclusive interview with ABC News saying no one from the prosecution or the defense asked him about it at the time. I don't have a, an agenda or an opinion on his guilt or his innocence. This is for me, it's a, uh, a fire investigation in a vehicle that has blood, possible blood, you know, um, on the mattress. Scott Peterson was identified as the prime suspect in Lacey's murder after it was revealed he was having an affair with a woman named Amber Fry. Fry's attorney was famed attorney Gloria Allred, who now represents Peterson's sister, Ann Bird. And now Gloria Allred joins me live. Gloria, thank you so much for being with me tonight. I look forward to getting your opinion on this new development and the fact that did this really happen? Did the prosecution and the defense overlook this evidence? Well, I don't know whether, frankly, that evidence is relevant or not. The prosecution certainly proved their case beyond a reasonable doubt. That was their burden of proof to the jury. And the jury convicted him uh, and uh, convicted him not only of uh, the murder of uh, Lacey Peterson, his pregnant wife, but also of their unborn son. So that was appealed by Scott Peterson to the Court of Appeals, ultimately to the California Supreme Court, and the California Supreme Court affirmed his conviction. Now they want to test DNA. I think he has and should have every right to have DNA tested if he thinks that it was not previously tested and could affect the outcome uh, of his case. But. Uh, just because the L.A. Innocence Project took it, Marla, doesn't mean that uh, they're going to be able to uh, affect the outcome of the case and get a new trial after 20 years. About half of all of the cases that they investigate and review the DNA, and that's what they're doing, uh, DNA that has not been tested previously, uh, result in reconfirming the conviction. Mm. So uh, I'm fine with his having DNA tested, but I'm not necessarily optimistic that it's going to result in a new trial. Okay, well, uh, prior to agreeing to tonight's in interview, I reminded you that I, in fact, covered that trial 20 years yes, ago in Redwood City. I have, and I want to show our viewers, we can roll on some B-roll. I have courtroom sketches. I have, uh, this is a recorded uh, Amber Fry and Scott Peterson a conversation. She was bugged at that point. In fact, you gave this as evidence, Gloria. And then this courtroom sketch, you see yourself in the foreground, Amber Fry on mm -hmm. the stand. Uh, I know that Amber Fry is not granting interviews. How does she feel about this? Well, she really doesn't know that she wants to comment and she, you know, doesn't know really what the outcome of this investigation is going to mean. I mean, Amber's a person that has always said, if there is a new trial, even though it will be difficult, she will be willing to testify once again. Oh. And she's very courageous. She really risked her life to record at the request of the police. Many of those conversations we heard during the trial with Scott Peterson when he didn't know he was being recorded and was lying through his teeth about so much, even calling her from the vigil for his missing wife. Uh, so she'll do it again if absolutely necessary. But you can imagine nobody looks forward to having to testify in a high-profile criminal case and being cross-examined as well. I want to get your take uh, on, we had Mark Garagos on, on Friday, Gloria. Uh, I asked him about th this new development. This is what he had to say about the affair with Amber Fry. Take a listen. 
Did he lie? Yes. Did he cheat? He was the first to admit that he did. Was there any evidence whatsoever that he had committed this crime? None. In what do you make of that? We have less than 30 seconds. Well, not only was Scott Peterson convicted uh, by a unanimous jury, but they recommended the death penalty. Uh, the death penalty was set aside uh, by the California Supreme Court, but not on the merits of whether he did it or not. It was a question involving jury selection, jury questioning. So, uh, I, of course, he wants to be optimistic, and I understand that, mm -hmm. but uh, I, I'm not certain that just testing new uh, blood evidence that may or may not be relevant is going to change the outcome of this trial. We should also quickly make it clear that you representing Ann Bird, Scott Peterson's sister, she she wrote a book called Blood Brother, 33 Reasons My Brother Scott Peterson mm -hmm. is Guilty. So she absolutely thinks that he is where he should be. Uh, Gloria Allred, mm -hmm. thank you so much for being with me tonight. Thank you.